Hello NSA student, this is Mr. Hinton with the math department. This is a frequently asked question that I get. Um, it says to write a rule, in, a rule in function notation to describe the transformation that is a reflection across the x-axis. Um, this uh, is dealt with a little bit more specifically in uh, another video where we deal with reflecting across the y-axis, uh, excuse me, the x-axis also, but we need to know in algebra and geometry that the equation of the x and y axis are these. The x axis is defined to be the point where y is always equal to zero. So if you pick any point on the x axis, the value of its y coordinate is equal to zero because we didn't go up or down. And so every point on the x axis is described by uh, the point where y equals zero. It's also, uh, incidentally, the definition of the x and y intercepts. The x-intercept is where y equals zero, and so the x-axis has an equation value of y equals zero. And uh, similarly, every point on the y-axis has an x value that is equal to zero. So uh, the y-axis is defined to be the place where x equals 0. The equation of the y-axis is x equals 0. So if we're writing or describing a transformation that is a reflection across the x-axis, okay, the x-axis is y equals 0. So we're going to reflect across y equals 0, whatever our point is. So there's just an arbitrary x and y value that we give there. So a reflection across the x-axis is a reflection across uh, y equals zero. Now, to do that reflection, if we're actually doing it, uh, all we're going to do is change the value of the y-coordinate. So the rule for reflecting uh, across y equals zero, or across the x-axis, is just change, change the sign of the y-coordinate. And that's a good thing to have on your note sheet. Change the sign of the y coordinate. Okay. Now, if we wanted to change this up and talk about a reflection across the y-axis, because the y-axis is defined to be x equals 0, because we're reflecting a point across x equals 0, similarly uh, to reflect across the y-axis, x equals 0, you just change the sign of the x-coordinate, and that would give you a reflection across the y-axis. Thanks, and have a great day.